Without me, eyes are marbles. No darkness they see. No, nothing. No voices. Hello, Smeagol. So well behaved lately. How can I pester you now without torturing my conscience? Have the elves found her? No, I'm afraid not. I don't think there is much hope she's coming back. Face it, she used you. And then she left you behind. We warned you to keep your distance. Anyway, Neldis has asked for you. She's upstairs with her lanterns. Be so kind and pay her a visit. no scent at nothing I can marvel without you. Hello, Smeagol. Hello, nice elf, very pretty. Am I not? It's Midsummer Day. We must all look our most beautiful tonight. Even you. I shall make you a wreath of laurels. Oh, you will hate What's it. What's she doing? Preparing lanterns for tonight. What's tonight? Tonight is Midsummer Night. We will all be out in the woods celebrating. Not you, perhaps. We will see. Is there something I can do for you? If the Riddle Master was alive... Ah, here we go again. I wish he were, I truly do, but I fear it was just one of Mel's dreams. He is gone, and now she is too. Nice, nice lanterns, but two of them aren't shining. Oh, yes. The children love to take my light stones up to the gardens to play. Would you not help me find them? They look like shining marbles, big as your eyes. Smeagol can help. Yes, I can find strange lights. Someone's in a good mood for a change. Cruel elves, leaving Mel in the woods all alone. She's going to find her riddle master. Of course she is. Maybe Smeagol can find him too. Don't break anything again. Shh, quiet. Good, good. That must be one of her lights. Maybe he just needs more time. I truly think he's getting better. <laughs> quiet. Yesterday he collected shells from the river for Davos. And today, he's helping Neldis with her lights. The honorable deeds of Smeagol. I do not care if he starts writing poetry. If kindness will not help, we must find different measures. I must know what he told Gandalf. Uh, a swarm of truthlings has been visiting your gardens lately. Good. Good. Whatever it takes. I don't like this plan. I know. True things, yes. But Mel taught us how to trick them. Lionel, dwarf beard rootsies. That's what we need. Yeah, 
Shaggy, who wants to ask us, do they? What about? The precious, of course. The precious. We want it. We want it. We want it. No. No, we hate it. I hate it. How are you, Smeagol? So far from home amongst strange folk like us? No relatives? No one to talk to? You can talk to us, you know. Like friends. Friends trust each other. <laughs> yes. Friends do not play nasty tricks. Yes. Like that wizard. He was a very tricky old man. But the king saw right through him and sent him away. We can protect you from men like him. But see, to do so, we must know what he asked you. He asked about our birthday. Your birthday? And about flowers, irises of the willow lands where Smeagol lived when he was young. Nothing else? Oh, I swears. Good elves, they are such nice friends. <sighs> Very well, then. Neldis tells us that you help her with her lanterns. That's very thoughtful of you. You know, I saw the children play with one of them in the King's Garden. Oh, did you? I had to shoo them from the old tower again. I'm almost sure they left the light up there. You know, we can take you there if you'd like. Help you find it. Nice friends. Yes, yes, they will lead the way. Good Smeagol will follow. Excellent. Let's go. Because our feasts are not for strangers, and because your breath would gag our singers. That's just two of the many reasons why you're not invited. Keep your voice down. This is a solemn place. Where the beetles hum their peaceful song. That's where the children left the light? Yes, I believe so. Now it's your turn. We will wait here. Where are you going? Can you hear us? I feel dizzy. Uh, now tell us, what did the wizard ask you about? Oh, one moment. Beatles are humming so loud. What are you... No, wait! Ah. Oh. Oh. and don't tell us. They must tell us. Mel. Meliestel. Don't know where she is. She must be dead by now. All blind and alone. Poor girl. But so ill-mannered. Never liked her. But now I miss her. 
a Riggan master. Now elves must tell us all they know. Gwendol. Gwendol. He knew Mel quite well. Did you know? Everyone knew. It wasn't much of a secret. Ah. Well, that explains it. I visited him once. Gwendol. He didn't know that I had entered. He was talking to his mirror. His notorious vanity, I thought. But then I heard another voice reply. From beyond the mirror, I'm quite certain it was Mel. Sounding very kind for once. So I left. So as not to disturb them. But mirror, eh? The one in the Riddle Master's rooms. Good elves, they talk so very honestly today. What are you doing? Smeagol will have a look in the mirror. Mirror, mirror. Mel, Mel with dark eyes. What is this? into the bark where we first met, remember? remember? That shall be the password for the gate. Find me. Come to the source. It will be dangerous, but I am lost without you. What gate? Does it know where Mel is? Who are you?
You found them. Thank you, Smeagol. Now my circle will be complete. Circle? A ring of protection for tonight's feast. Like the haze? If you will, but far less ambitious. A place where Mel and Riddlemaster first met? The cook knows about it, yes? You don't give up, do you? I do remember that night, the big oak in the King's Grove. It was the first time Mel was invited to one of the gatherings. Such an untamed child she was. No patience, no manners. Watch the King's Grove. Our feast will be there tonight. I could take you there if you promised to behave. Then again, you always end up disappointing me. <sighs> I am willing to trust you, if you can do what I shall ask of you. That's all you had to do. You are getting better, I see, and a breath of fresh air will not hurt you either. I shall take you to the tree tonight, if that is still your wish. Come to me whenever you are ready. She will take us to the tree. Help me pack the lanterns. summer residence not far south of here in the mountains. Abandoned hundreds of years ago. That is all I can tell you about it. Now, who told you about Karas Mimba? Just elves telling stories. I like to hear stories. Go ahead. I already warned the others about you. I will stay here and put up our lanterns. The big tree. That must be where Mel and Riddlemaster carved their hidden picture. What is Gollum doing here? Neldis invited him. Be nice. Hello, Smeagol. What's this for? Gollum's acting very strange lately. He's always fish for Smeagol. Yes, Wait, that one's not been roasted. Is clouded by he, laughs, he doesn't mean to eat that raw, does he? Him laugh. No, and I don't want to. Ah! Here he comes. Climb the tree. Yes, yes, but the friendly elves are in the way. I think it would be better if we all stay here on the ground, don't you? Where we can all keep an eye on each other, just in case. Hmm, a competition, a competition. If Smeagol wins, they must let him climb the tree. <laughs> but these ones don't like riddles, do they? How about a game of words? You say a word, then I say a new word that starts with the final sound from your word, and then we keep going round until it's your turn again. But here's the trick. No word can come up twice, and no word can end with the same sound as the beginning of the previous word. That's easy. Fish. Shell. Love. V visible. Aha, you lose. No, why? Visible. Love. No word can end with the same sound as the beginning of the previous word. Ah, not fair. It tells the rules too fast. <sighs> Once more, then, whatever sends you on your way. Ten seconds to answer. If you survive three rounds, you win. Fish! We already had fish. New game. It counts. Fish, fish! Well, then, shell. Again. Lamb. Bridge. Gibberish. Shamrock. Shard. No, wrong sound. You lost again. 
I'm sorry. You lost. The tree is ours. <laughs> they cheated. <sighs> Calm down, Drift. What's with him tonight? Perhaps someone friendly could help. <laughs> Better let Smeagol do the talking. What's wrong? Not your kind of music? Smeagol is not welcome. He's ugly and a liar and, and a sneak. Did someone say that? Smeagol just wanted to sit in the tree and watch the lights. Everyone always hates him. Always. Always. <sighs> Children, let me go talk to them. Come, walk with me. You are strange, Smeagol. And a liar. But for the sake of it, I will help you once more. Be just a little bit nice to our guest, will you? We just had a little fun. That is nice. Now have a little less. Yes, yes. Come on then. Climb our tree, but stay in sight. They cheated. They cheated. Why don't you join us, Neldis? We haven't seen you all evening. Yes, it is midsummer <laughs> night. Come and drink with us. Very well. Why not? And now. Riddle Master said he carved a picture into the tree, and that's what we need to enter his castle in the mountains. <laughs> Look, he's really climbing up. <laughs> What's he trying to do? Watch the moon? <laughs> that would surprise me. He hates the moon. To Smeagol and the moon, let's raise a glass. To Smeagol and the moon. Elf feasting with this. We keeps it, remembering nice cook. If you want to understand the enemy's schemes, you need to learn about seduction. Look at Smeagol, for example. I don't know. I can't even say if he's good or good. Good observation. And perhaps, neither could the enemy. Why is he climbing the tree? Yet another mystery. Hey! <laughs> 
It's high. It. It's a deer. Deer with horns. Queen needs the elvish word. What's the elvish word for deer? We can ask the elves later. Perhaps we seize the mountains from up here. sent us to find God. And now I send you to kill that elf! Now! <gasps> I should have read you with more wood. A golem! Won't get away. Put a bolt in his belly when he ran up a tree. Beastman, go hunt him down! The sorcerer sent us to find God. And now I send you to kill that elf! Now! I should have read you in more food. Come on, maggot! Yeah, short raid across the border, he said. That bird led us straight into Elfland. Find the golem and bring it to the mountains. That's what the Candleman ordered. Ordered and left. That's not our leader. We're going back to the mines, yeah? Good luck crossing that foul haze again without the blind one. Find the golem! Dead or alive, but find him! The blind one. This one's breathing. He's dying. Now, we can make it quick. Or we can give you some very unpleasant medicine. Where's your golem freak? You heard me. Where is the freak? <coughs> right in front of me. Yeah, waste of time. The demons never talk. <laughs> no sign from my hooks, man. The more elves are coming. Hey, how many? I uh, can't tell. I uh, can't tell. Oh, we barely saw one. Uh, uh, they're in the trees. Borg climbed one and the elves shot him down. 
We retreat, not without the freak. Are you dead? Elves are coming. Somebody find me that golem already. Search the trees. Mm. 